Hey guys, how's it going? Chris here, uh, coming at you with a little tutorial on how to deal with the AEK and why you should only use one weapon when playing Battlefield 4 on Domination or Team Deathmatch or any fast paced game mode that's in the game. Um, so basically it comes down to this, if you can master a weapon and you know it inside out you're gonna get better KDs, you're gonna get better score per minutes, it's just a fact, you know, if you if you know a gun inside out and your reflexes, I mean there's nothing that I can do that could, that, that could increase your reflexes, that's just something that comes down to practice and muscle memory and knowing what your settings are on your mouse and stuff and how far to aim from one bit to another and how you know micro or wide it has to be. Um, but there is one thing that I can teach you which is how to actually deal with this weapons recoil which it does go up and to the right slightly so if I was to just not counter this you can see it goes up to the right I'm gonna try and use something that's got bullet holes on it um, so nothing seems to have bullet holes on it on this map what the hell anyway you can see what I mean where the dust you know where the dust trails are going so if I was to uh, control that recoil you can see I'm gradually moving my mouse down and to the left. Um, I'll do that again. I mean, it depends on your mouse sensitivity settings. This does bear, bear in mind. I mean, a lot of pro players they use a really low um, DPI and in-game mouse sensitivity with a big map, so that they can have more control over the recoil. Um, and it just comes down to sort of common sense. You know, if you've got more to drag, you've got more control. Um, but you also have to know you know how far to aim left and right and stuff and this just basically comes down to um, you know how good you are at remembering your settings and stuff on your mouse and your uh, mouse map so yeah uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit I mean the, the best thing to do with this gun literally is to burst fire and if you get the hang of burst firing um, you should be pretty much set um, so literally like micro bursts. I mean I've run out of ammo now, but yeah, micro burst it from distances and just drop it when you're uh, not. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll show you a little bit of in-game footage in a minute from me actually shooting at people and stuff. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. So this clip just shows off basically what you can do with going prone. Um, this bit in this map is really really good place to just be prone because uh, you can see people's feet and things like underneath so that's a good good idea um, this guy I see him on the mini map somewhere so I'm like right that guy's coming down the stairs finish him off uh, as you can see it doesn't really look like I'm moving my mouse that much but it's only because I've recently changed my mouse settings to like a thousand dpi and I think 12% uh, in game something like that um, I'm still messing about with stuff, trying to fix it, trying to you know get it to where I really want it to uh, be good. I'm sure everybody's dealt with this before, where they just don't know what target to go for. Um, luckily, I get that guy with a grenade. <laughs> it's a bit of a lucky, uh, lucky thing to stay alive right there. Um, yeah, this guy double kill. Didn't even realise there was two people there, so that was pretty lucky as well. Um, finish this guy off with the pistol and carry on. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd take out a sniper from here with burst mode, uh, which is what I was talking about earlier. Um, so if you burst fire, I mean, this is ridiculous. Like a distance this far to actually kill someone from with an AEK, you've got to burst fire. You cannot just, you know, click and hold. It's like it's never going to get you anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's a good kill fast kill there but I think two of them were already shooting at him um, I hope you can see what I mean about mouse uh, I was pissed off with the guys on the roof so I decided to go up there uh, I kind of scribbled a little bit with just just playing the game to be honest um, as you can see it's kind of like taking me ages to destroy these guys um, it shouldn't really have taken me that long but I don't know what was wrong with me I was just excited 
so it's like overcompensating for everything. But yeah, get rid of the roof guys. Thank fuck, because nobody likes roof guys, do they? Um, this is a nice little streak. Um, so I start off from the back, went my way in. Um, yep. Go through because I can see guys on the mini map right there on the left. Uh, and I've run out of ammo for my primary weapon, so I go switch this guy's kit, which is quite cool. Um, luckily, he has an AK as well, with I think pretty much exactly the same loadout as me. Don't know why the hell that just came back, but it did. The grenade, I mean. Um, I think I take that guy out, I'm not too sure. Um, Nah, I don't. Too late for the revive on that guy. Go around the back, take this guy out as well. Get a resin. Get the ticket back. And I think that's about it for that clip. Um, pretty much. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, oh yeah, sorry, no, that's not the end of the clip. This is like the end of the game, so it's just a nice little streak that I go on. Um, you can see some peeps on, uh, on B. Taking out a guy from long position there. Um, pulling back with my mouse still. I'm using that uh, that mouse to keep on that compensation. Uh, decided to take the higher ground for this because I can see there's like quite a few guys to the left and the right on my map. Um, as you can see, I'm getting a little bit more better at just general sort of like looking left and right. This guy, I don't know how the hell he didn't kill me. I was just ducking and jiving. <laughs> Maybe I threw the head reg out or something. I don't know. And <laughs> it's just people galore over here. Too many. So I'm like, right, pop out. Let's see if I can get any kills. Get one kill. Going around the back. And is there anybody else to kill? That guy kills him. And I think we take C back and, well, we don't take C back, but we win. By 228 tickets, uh, good game. 23 and 15, I think that's said. So not really a good KD as an example for this, but I just wanted to uh, throw a video together um, just to show you guys what you can do with uh, recall compensation. Uh, sorry if I've not been in the best mood today for this video, but I'm kind of like, I got cold again. For some fucking reason it's the uk i think but yeah so thanks a lot for watching guys hope you enjoyed please comment and rate and also drop me a subscription if you want it will make me very very happy thank you bye